Hey guys, Eric Prey, Focus Fishing Guide Service, Table Rock Fishing Intel. I've got another video fishing report for you for Table Rock. It is Thursday, um, April 27th. Sorry, we're a little late this week. I've been on the water every day, doing basically a double or a full day every day. We got a little bit of rain today, so I was able to get off the water and get this shot this afternoon. Uh, lake level, we are at 914.66, uh, so basically a half foot below normal pool. I don't think this rain's really gonna bring the lake level up a bunch, but it might. Uh, water temperature, we're right around, on average, around 61, 62 seems to be the norm. You can find some warmer water if it's got some stain to it, but for the most part, we're right in that 61, 62. You get a little bit of sunshine and it does warm up throughout the day. Uh, but the bite's been good, catching a lot of fish. Um, best bites I've been finding right now, I'm still catching them on a Kytec swim bait. Um, that bite, since the fish, there, there are fish on beds, uh, there's fish that are done, they're still in all three phases of the spawn. It would not surprise me to see another wave move up next week when the water warms back up. But I'm catching them good on a Kytec swim bait, targeting both pre-spawn and post-spawn fish. Most of those fish are uh, coming off of either brush piles or wood or rock. Uh, a lot of them, they're fairly shallow. They're less than 20 feet deep. Most of them are in that 10 to 15 foot range. And they've been actually pretty aggressive when we've been catching them. Uh, the other bite that's working really good is a jewel squirrel head, catching a lot of fish on the squirrel head on gravel and rock mix points and leading into spawning pockets. Not really catching a lot of them off of beds with it, but I'm sure you could use it on the beds. I've been matching it up with a Senko and green pumpkin and putting a little chartreuse on the tail. I've been catching quite a few fish doing that. Those fish, depending on water clarity and everything else down by the dam, those fish have been out deeper, mostly I think because of the moss from 10 to about 15 feet. You get away from the dam, get away from the moss, and you'll catch them as shallow as five foot deep on that and actually caught some pitching the, the shaky head and pitching a pro spider jig around some laydowns and whatnot up the James this past week. Crankbait bites pretty much gotten away from us. Haven't really caught that many fish on a crankbait, but I have been catching them on a chatterbait using the um, jackhammer chatterbait. Most of those fish have been relating to shallow cover in the rivers, whether it be laydowns or the few bushes you can still find in the water and some of them on shallow docks. And the topwater bite is kind of hit and miss right now. It was getting good before we had this last front come through. And I really expect it to pick back up again. Um, didn't really have any today on it. Uh, did fish for half a day this morning. And we did see some fish busting shad. If we would have had a topwater on, we probably could have caught them on that. But uh, for the most part, the topwater bite's not been great this week. I expect it to get better. And I definitely expect it if we get some warmer weather and some more sunshine and get this, these colder nights out of here. I really think once these fish get off the beds, that top water bite with either a surge shad or a spook or something like that is really gonna take off. Guys, um, the bite's good. I mean, we're catching fish, it's springtime and the fish are definitely biting. So now's the time to come down, now's the time to catch some fish. Best way to know what's going on, best way to stay on top of that bite is become a pro member of Table Rock Fishing Intel. Besides getting those daily reports that we put out, almost every day and we've had a ton of reports in the last week or so you also get the extended version of this that has got a lot more detail on how we've been catching fish all week like I said been on the water every day this week doing multiple trips and catching them multiple different ways the way to know exactly what I'm talking about and where I'm catching these fish is to join Table Rock Fishing Intel and become a pro member and get that information the other way to do it if you're looking for a guide, give me a call. It's Focus Fishing Guide Service. You can reach me at 417-860-4743 or hit my website, focusfishing.com, and either shoot me an email or book online. Either way, I get back to you as soon as I can. Guys, thanks for watching the video. Again, take a minute, check out Table Rock Fishing Intel if you haven't done so, but thanks for watching. Can't wait to hear from you. We'll see you on the water.